hello guys welcome and welcome back and today we are going to learn something new so all these days we are doing videos about problems from code chef so i just thought that we will change a focus a little bit and learn something different you know which could be used in real life of course you can use the algorithmic skills of code chef in real life but we'll learn something different in this tutorial so what we are going to do is use a api of twitter which is called as tweep and by using that we'll just try to find the tweets that are made long long time ago by someone i'm just going to give you an example uh, what tweep does so what tweep basically does is uh, if you tweet something to flipkart and uh, how flipkart always manages to reply to your tweets it's because they have this uh, uh, they are using this api of twitter like so if anybody tweets to flipkart they come to know that someone has used the word flipkart in the tweet and they try to reply to those people so we'll just try to build a similar application so let's get started so i have just installed pycharm you can use normal python uh, so first of all we are going to write the program in python so yeah this is the program like uh, first of all we uh, there are steps i'll just show it to you it's right on this chrome application so yeah the step one is install pip and vp so which is quite a simple step you can do it yourself no need to just go through it again and again you just need to uh, follow these commands so uh, i'm going to place this link uh, the website link in the description you can just follow the steps now the second step is create your twitter application so to use this api called tweep we need to create a twitter application this is the link so let's just create an application okay so here it goes create a new app it's quite simple you just need to fill up a form so name we'll just name our app breaking code description just a normal app now website uh, like if you are making a website or an application you just need to give the link of the website I just created a website i'll just give its link it's a free hosting domain so yeah here it goes but make sure you give the whole link i mean by typing https and www dot again the same thing you just need to fill up this and of course do read the terms and conditions please the client application failed validation is already taken username so just change the username to something like this and here you go so yeah we just created this app uh, now like uh, why do we create this app because in this program we need four main features named c key secret this is the key this is the secret uh, another one token and uh, token key secret these are the four entities that we require uh, in this to use this api so that's that's the only reason why we created this application and after creating this application we get these things so uh, yeah here it goes after creating there is a tab called as keys and access token so just click on it and here you go you get the key mm -hmm. yeah here it is customer key just copy and paste it in this column c key customer key there is this thing customer secret api something again do the same thing then you need access token so for creating an access token you just need to create 
click on this button create my access token so yeah there you go you have an access token now mm, yeah here it is which is quite big just copy paste the same thing nothing special again the same thing so here you go so after you have copy pasted this thing the program isn't that difficult to understand you can understand it yourself it's just the simple thing so i'm going to explain it to you don't worry so we create a function on data so uh, two parameters we pass self and data data is the data that we have to search in the tweets and uh, like if we find it in a tweet then uh, we split the data into two parts one is text and one is source like who tweeted the thing and then after that we print the tweet if we find that keyword in our tweet and then save at the same time we save it in a file named twitter db.csv uh, just write into the file then save the file and then the close the file it's no big deal we just need to copy paste these lines on error there is a function called as on error uh, which like uh, prints that there is an error 401402 if there is an error and uh, again uh, we do the same thing we pass the c key uh, for validation secret key for validation uh, authentication handler and uh, you don't need actually need to understand these functions because just two lines you can copy paste it and after that uh, on this last line there is a bracket called a track on the in this bracket you just need to type the keyword that you need to search like you can search the you can search for various things like uh, the name of your app breaking code or anything that you want to search but for simplicity we are going to search a keyword that's gonna present in maximum number of tweets like uh, Modi for example so we can find a lot of tweets about Modi so after doing this just save this file and try to run it so it's searching the tweets that are related to Modi it will take time because it's searching in its whole database so here we go we find the first tweet uh someone tweeted about this thing i don't know what that is and uh, it's it's finding more uh narendra modi pm of india something then narendra modi PM, then ambani under pressure from modi uh, modi is the first elected leader of independent india who seems to have design manufactured uh, something something so these are all the tweets uh, that uh, that have the keyword modi in it so uh, just like that it will keep on searching and just note a thing that while searching it's uh, being saved in this file twitter db4 so as you can see the file size is increasing continuously now it's 14 kb so just wait for a moment it will increase when it finds more uh, tweets yeah here it goes it becomes 15 kb so it's being saved in that file so uh, yeah we can find more and more tweets about modi maybe we can find one from kjwal itself so yeah i mean that's how you search any tweet from Twitter uh, by using this API called as Tweepy. Uh, so quite easy to use, nothing special to do, do. You just need to create an application uh, using these following steps. And uh, I'm going to give you the steps of uh, how to create an application and uh, this link itself in the description. And after that, after creating the application, you just need to copy paste those keys into our application i'm even going to provide you this code in the description so you don't need to copy so you don't need to type it and uh, you can copy paste it easily and use this application so make sure
to use this because it's quite useful you can include it in your website or application or anything that you're doing so thanks guys for watching the video if you like the video please do subscribe and more such videos coming soon thank you for your support good luck keep coding